It would be nice if every building was nothing but straight walls and right-angled corners. But that isn't always the case. The ARC's wall system has forms to handle almost any design requirement. For corners that are 45 degrees, ARCS has a double fixed 45 that the installer simply cuts to create two 45 degree form units. As with 90 degree corners, you must use wire ties or 1 by 3 strapping on the first course to connect these forms to the adjacent forms to prevent movement during concrete placement. For corners that are neither 90 degrees nor 45 degrees, ARCS supplies the adjustable corner form unit. Simply rotate the form to the desired angle, mark it, and remove it. Then cut out the inside of the donut ring to allow the concrete to form a monolithic wall. The form needs outside support to cope with the internal pressure that will be generated during concrete placement. Use fiberglass tape to reinforce the corner in the four locations shown here. T-walls represent another special situation. You have to remove a portion of the polystyrene panel on the crossing leg of the T in order to allow the concrete to flow and form a monolithic wall. When you cut away this portion of the expanded polystyrene, you destroy the integrity of the form. To compensate, place a piece of rebar through the triangular hole in the web as you place the form and attach it with tie wire to the other leg of the T at the second or third web. Do not over tighten the wire or you will cause the back side of the wall to deflect inwards. Among other purposes, extended brick ledge forms are used to support masonry veneer or floor loads. Since these forms have to be mitered at the corners, they need to be reinforced with fiberglass tape in the same manner as adjustable corner forms. Depending on the application, additional rebar may be needed in extended brick ledge forms. Consult your ARCS product manual for details. Tapered top units are used to provide a wider bearing surface. ARCS recommends that the thinner of the two top edges of these forms be supported by a screwed in place 1x3 to prevent deflection during concrete placement. Height adjusters are sandwiched between two conventional courses to increment the wall height 3 and 3 8 inches. When using height adjusters, place vertical strips of fiberglass tape 16 inches on center at the webs to provide a vertical tie. Similarly, horizontal strips of fiberglass tape are used to hold end caps securely in place when terminating a wall or opening. Another common requirement is a gable end. Mark and cut the forms to the desired slope. Support the diagonal edges with 1x4s. You may also have to cap the forms depending on the slope of the gable and the slump of the concrete. Because ARCS wall systems supplies forms in a variety of widths, it is often necessary to accommodate transitions from one size to another. A common example would be the transition from a 6-inch taper top form to a 4-inch form to create a brick sill on the exterior or a bearing surface for a floor system on the interior. Consult your ARCS product manual for further details. So you've got all the forms in and you've reached the top. Before placing concrete, you need to tie adjacent top course forms together and run fiberglass tape vertically on both sides at every second web between the top course and the course below. This precaution is designed to eliminate the chance of form separation during concrete placement. If the wall is to have additional stories, be sure to cover the top of the forms with metal tracks, polyethylene, or tape. That way you won't destroy the interlock when you place the concrete. Remove the metal track, poly, or tape after the concrete is in place and you're ready for more forms. As you can see, the ARCS wall system is very versatile. Using the forms we've just discussed, you can produce buildings of almost any configuration. Bay windows, cathedral ceilings, you name it, the ARCS wall system can do it.
As an example, this radius wall was fabricated from non-overlapping forms reinforced by fiberglass tape. The vertical spaces between the forms were sealed with spray foam to prevent concrete leakage. If you find yourself confronted with an unusual design situation, the ARC's technical support team is always ready to help you. As far as all the technical support goes with ARCs, the, the CAD files they provide and all the information they provide makes life for me as a designer much easier. It's just excellent follow-up that they have on their marketability. We're almost ready for the next stage, but first, let's close this section off with a review of the form reinforcement methods used to prepare the wall system for concrete. First course corner forms, wire or 1x3. Adjustable corner forms, tape. Mitered corners, tape. T-walls, wire and rebar. Taper top forms, 1x3. Height adjusters, tape. Gable ends, 1x4 on diagonal. Top course, tie wire, cable tie, and tape. End caps, tape. Radius walls, spray foam, flexible strapping, or tape. When we come back, we'll talk about placing concrete. The arcs forming uh, form has provided us an excellent uh, environment for our concrete products. We are a um, major concrete supplier in the Phoenix area. We experience uh, very high temperatures in the summertime and have had absolutely no problems with shrinkage cracking. And we also uh, have uh, experienced extreme high strength tests after the seven days initial set. 